Do you know someone who's miserable and when you try to talk to them about their situation, they go, well, I've tried everything, and they just whine and, and cry, right? Tried everything, I'm sure. Hello, I'm Clarence, I'm the preacher. And usually the claim to have tried everything is simply a claim of surrender. It's giving up. It's like, you know, I'm done trying. I'm just gonna be a victim and live in misery the rest of my life. Who makes that choice? Well, a lot of people do. I'd rather prefer to live in optimism and see the opportunities versus just focusing on the trials all the time. We live in a time that is just awesome to be alive. There's so much information that is just free. We have so many massive opportunities that past generations can't even dream about. Folks, we live better than the kings of the past lived. We literally do. And yet in all of this wonderful ocean of opportunity, a lot of people are still empty, they're lonely, they're disconnected because one of the things they're leaving out is God. God said man doesn't live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. To technology is fine. There's nothing wrong with our technology. It is awesome. The thing is our technology alone is not enough. We need God. And only after we bring God into our lives can we start living that fulfilled, happy life that we really all desire to live. Now there is one little thing that you, you got to understand, and that is when you approach God, you approach God on His terms. We don't get to set the rules and tell God how it's going to work. God is God, and if He is King, He tells us, and we submit and we surrender. And those people that get that and understand that and truly do surrender to the Word of God, those people are the ones that live the best life possible. Hey, check the comments below. Share your thoughts and ideas with us also. Share this video if you think it might help somebody else. And as always, I hope you have a great day.